that you've read a book by the name of The Adventures of Tom Sawyer, but that ain't no matter. That book is by Mr. Mark Twain, and he told the truth. Mainly. And I'm going to tell the truth, the way I see it, in the story that I'm enacting tonight. It's about me and my friend, a runaway slave named Jim, and the long adventure we took together. The way the book winds up is this. Me and Tom found the gold the robbers had hidden in Ancient Joe's cave. And it made us rich! Hello, Mary! So, the widow Douglas and her sister Miss Watson took me for their son and allowed that they would civilize me. It got pretty rough living in that house, seeing as they were so regular and decent in all their ways. Look a here, Hunk! Do you want to go to heaven? Do you want to go to heaven? Cause I'll tell you right now, you better learn to read, and you better learn your writing, or you'll never get to heaven, cause you won't know.
trouble to cause me. Oh, I've done something so bloody, I shouldn't tell you about it. But I will. <laughs> I caught a wild pig and slit its throat. Then I cut down the door of the cabin and spilled blood all over everything. So it would seem like someone had broken in and murdered me. Then, then I told everybody that I was going away for good.
down the river. And I met a girl named Mary Jane Wilkes, who counseled me. All right, I'll do everything you told me. Must you leave? If you were to stay, I would be your truest friend. No, I gotta go. Goodbye. I shan't ever forget you. I'll think of you always, and I'll pray for you, too. Pray for me. I reckon if she'd have known me, she'd have taken on a task near her size. <laughs> but I'll bet she done it. No. I ain't never seen her since the day she walked out that door. No, I ain't never seen her since. But I sure thought about her many and many million times. Maybe you ain't let your feelings grow accustomed to the dark. Only way.